Hey, what's going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video I am playing some Corky 80 Carry, and this is episode number 3 of Road to Gold. So, I'll give you guys a little recap on how I've been doing lately. So, I recently just won my promo game for, or I won my promos for, for Silver 1. So, currently I'm at Silver 1, 0 points. Um, I just had 12 points, then I just lost a game, so I'm at 0 points right now, and... Hopefully we can pick up a win here so we do not get uh, demoted back down to Silver 2. I'm not sure if I would get demoted. I think it de um, depends on what my MMR is like. But hopefully we can just pick up the win so we don't have to worry about getting demoted here. Because I think it's only like... The season ends on November 11th, I think. And I really want to get gold by the end of this season. Because I want the Morgue skin and I want the gold border and everything. So... If I can get gold by this, or get gold by the end of this season, that's definitely a big win for me, because I started this season, like, I only won, like, 2 out of 10 promo games, and then I got placed in Bronze 5, so I had to climb my way out of Bronze 5, which was really, really annoying. It took me a long time, like, it probably took me, like, 5 months to climb out of Bronze. And then I've just made my way up to Silver 1, and hopefully we can get gold here in the next few days, because... If we don't, that'd be really disappointing. So Leo's gonna take some CS here, it looks like. Who's their support? They got a Janna, okay. So what Caitlyn's doing right here, really smart. She got her headshot passive, and she's just trying to zone me, because there's no way I can really trade back damage, and that was really good by her. Now once we hit level 6 in this lane, we pretty much have it won. Uh, because my burst, and once I get my Trinity Force, I can easily kill this Caitlyn in a 1v1. But I'm just gonna work on last hitting here. I might use my Q to try to push the wave out a little bit. Grab that CS, okay. So... Let's see here, we have a Riven top, a uh, Hecarim jungle, Annie mid. That's pretty decent team comp. Just gonna use my Q on those minions there, pick that up. Oh, I missed two of them, crap. Okay, I'm gonna grab my, hmm, should I grab my W or my E second? I don't think there's really any reason for me to grab my W because we're not really pushed at all. So I think I'll just grab my E here in a second. Make sure I get this minion here. All right, nice. Grab my E. And yeah, this is probably going to be a pretty boring lane, guys, just like farming, because we can't really engage on Caitlyn and Janna, because Janna's got her shield, she's got her, um, what's it called, or her Q, so it pretty much negates all of Leona's engage. I'm not sure if she picked Janna to counter pick it, but if she did, then that's pretty smart. Because yeah, when Leona hits level 6 as well, she can just use her ultimate. Looks like we're going in here, though. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't think Leona should be engaging right now, because we're not going to be able to really do much if she does. Janna can just put the shield on Caitlyn, and we can't really do much. It's just going to give her extra AD as well, so... We should just focus on farming. Once we hit level 6, though, we should be able to win it all in. But I just got to make sure that I'm picking up the farm. Let's see how am I doing here. I'm 3 ahead of Caitlyn, so that's pretty good. Just missed that one there, which is a pretty big fail. Okay, she, she's taking a lot of creep damage there. What's Hecarim pinging for? Why is Hecarim level 3? Actually, never mind. He probably should be level 4 though, unless he's been ganking a lot. Alright, grab all that CS and... Did they just hit level 4? Yeah, they did, okay. And also guys, if you notice that my voice sounds a little bit off, I'm still feeling a little bit sick, so that's why I'm, my voice is a little bit off this commentary if you haven't noticed. Grab all this, oh I'm gonna miss all that crap. Okay. We could actually probably beat them right now in an all-in if we went, if Leona jumped on Caitlyn. But it doesn't look like she's gonna go for it, so just gonna keep farming up. Grab this one here. 
Hecarim got a kill. All right, so we're two and one right now. Annie's got a kill. That's really good. And who else got a kill? Hecarim. Nice. And Falcos is 0 and 2. So wow. Who's got a kill on their team? Pantheon. Okay. Is Pantheon jungle? No, he's top. Still got to be careful though when Pantheon's got level six because he could come and alt down bot lane and it's just so such a strong pick right now. Pantheon jungle. He's probably going to be in my next um, uh, best uh, jungles because he's just so strong. I've been playing him quite a bit lately and I just like, he's super strong because once you hit level 6, his damage is just insane. Or his damage, not his damage, but his like ganks with his ultimate. We should be able to get this kill on Kate here. Alright, nice. Picking up another one on Janna, hopefully. Let's see. If I play this correctly, I should pick it up. Alright, nice. So we are 1-0 right now, and Leona picked up that first call on Caitlyn, which is unfortunate, but you know what? We got two kills, so I'm not going to complain. And I'm going to go back, start building my Triforce here. I'm going to pick up the Sheen, I think, because that's going to give me a really big power spike. And I'll just grab some health as well. I personally like getting uh, Sheen first, if I can, on Corky. Like, if I can go back and purchase the full Sheen, then I'll do that. But if I go back and I don't have enough for the Sheen, then I'll get, like, the Ruby Crystal and the Longsword. Because the Sheen just gives him a really good power spike, and I don't really... Like, the Phage is nice, but I think the Sheen's definitely better uh, for, for your first item. So, what did that Caitlyn get? She got a... Wow, she got a, um, a pickaxe on her back, so we're going to be a lot stronger than them right now. Pick up that CS, what am I at? 39? What's Caitlyn at? Let's see. 39, okay, so we're tied right now. Okay, Leona is warding. Alright, nice job, Leona. Alright, so no point in not trading damage with that Janna there. She was just being careless and just coming up and just letting me get free damage on here, so I'll take that. Alright, nothing happening there really. I should be playing actually a little bit more aggressive now because we are ahead of it, this lane, so I should be trying to zone them um, now because we can definitely kill them in an all-in. So I shouldn't really be letting Caitlyn farm. Did, uh, what's Leona buying here? Alright, she got a Sightstone, Stone, that's really good. Oh damn, I keep getting hit by those, so I gotta, get, gotta start dodging them. Alright, here's a kill on Caitlyn. Should be a kill. Alright, wow. Did I misclick that or did I just like... I don't even know what happened there. It took a long time to kill her though. Okay, so we're 2-0 right now. Corky's just so strong, guys. Like, That's why he's number one on my list. He's just so good at... He's just such a strong laner. And he's... like, He's basically, once he hits level 6 and he gets his Trinity Force, there's no champion in the game that can beat him. And what is she doing? Is the jungler here? Damn it, I could have killed her there. If I didn't get hit by that Q, I probably could have killed her. Why is she pinging me back? What's going on here? Is there jungler? Oh, Pantheon? No. Shock is top. I'm not sure why she's pinging me back. I'm just gonna push this wave and then go B, actually. Yeah, because I can pick up my Phage now, so that's gonna give me a good spike as well. Janna just hit level 6. Oh, come on. Should I kill her? No, I'm out. <laughs> Damn, if I just would have had, like, if I would have had my Phage there, I might have had enough damage to kill her, but unfortunately I didn't. So I'm just going to go back now and pick up the Phage here. Because we're going to lose trade-off, because Kate just back. <laughs> I have no idea what that... Uh, Leona's saying there, like, Caitlyn backed and we could have probably killed Janna. So I'm not sure why. Like, unless the jungler was coming or something, but he wasn't, so... Like, there's no reason for me not to be playing aggressive on a Janna, it's not like she can 1v1 me. So, let's see here, how's our team doing? 8-3, and three. wow. 
I never pay attention on how my team's doing when I'm doing commentaries. I just try to focus on like the commentary and how our lane's doing, but we're doing really well. Annie's three and one. We have a one two ribbon. It's not the best, but I'm two and oh, so we're looking pretty oh wow, nice job, Leona. We're looking pretty good right now. Alright, so 62 CS. I should be a lot higher than that right now. I should have hit 62 by 10 minutes, but we're 2 0 right now, so that kind of makes up for it. Oh, damn it. I thought she was going to move forward there, so I placed my Q like a little bit behind, but I didn't account for the Leona ultimate. I didn't think it would last that long. Like, I didn't think she would use get the stun off from her ultimate, so. Alright, dodge that one. We want to come in here from the side. What's going on? We can we can kill. Not sure what they're doing here. Oh damn it! I missed I missed the rocket there. We just gotta push this wave out here. Hecarim, please do not die that. Please do not die that Hecarim. Okay, good. All right, I got that big bomb off on Caitlyn there, so that's a lot of damage coming out. And I, I really don't want to die at this right now. It's just too risky. Like, Hecarim's too low. If I took aggro, then maybe, but... I don't know. We just gotta push it into tower and then dive if we're going to. Alright, so we could probably dive them right now. If I can just poke them down a little bit more. If I can get this big bomb off on Caitlyn. Okay, nice. They're gonna have to be here. Also, we can probably dive them. Leona, if Leona had her ultimate, we would be diving them for sure. Or at least I would tell Leona to, because I could just burst them down really, really quickly. And we got pings coming down for Velkos. We could kill him. Yep. Oh, wow. Alright, nice job, Annie. Nice run there by Annie. Okay, we can take a uh, dragon here. Damn it, too bad Leona's picking up those kills, because if I... If I would've had those other two kills right now, I'd have, like, Trinity Force, I'd be... I'd be rolling right now, but... I'm not gonna complain, actually, because we are 11 and 3. Picking up the dragon there. And let's go try to kill this Janna here, because she's out of mana. Alright, actually, how much am I out for my Trinity Force? Let's see, okay, I can buy it right now. If I had mana right here, I'd probably try diving her, or at least try killing her, but I don't, so... I should just... I'm just gonna clear this wave and then go back. Alright, grab this one here, come on. Nice. Grab these... Okay, I missed one, whatever. Alright, so I'll go back here, pick up the Trinity Force, what else should I pick up? I'm probably gonna start building towards Infinity Edge after that, because I don't really need the defense. We're really far ahead right now. If I needed the defense, then I'd probably go for Bloodthirster, but... We're pretty far ahead, and I don't really see any sense in building Bloodthirster. Just build as much damage as I can right now. Yeah, that Velkos room there, that was really terrible. Like, Leona... Velkos obviously didn't know how much damage that we could do, because if I if I land my Q, and I land my ultimate, like, it's just so much damage. It's so much burst. Like, there's no AD carry in the game that can match Corky's burst once he's got his Trinity Force. I'm pretty sure, like, maybe Graves, maybe, like, Lucian can't even match Corky's burst once he has Trinity Force. I could probably, like, 2v1 them right now, like, honestly. I don't know what she's doing. Like, what is she doing? <laughs> okay, just give me the free kills, whatever. Like, I got down to, like, not even half HP there and I killed Caitlyn. Like, that burst is just insane. Elo hell. <laughs> no, like guys, if you don't if you don't play Corky, then definitely play him. Like he like I rarely lose lane with Corky. Like literally, that's why he's number one on my list. Like you can win lane like every single time. He he's got a really strong mid game. Like you just can't go wrong with playing Corky. At least from my experience, he's playing him. Like that burst, man! Holy crap! Almost killed the Shaco there. Okay, we could, we should probably take tower soon. I'm running low on mana, so I shouldn't spam it anymore, but... 
And yeah, if anybody's been talking to me in chat, like I don't focus on the chat during the game. I'm just trying to focus on my commentary. So if anybody's been saying anything to me and you guys think that I'm ignoring them or something, then it's just because I don't like focus on chat when I'm doing commentaries. It's hard to focus on both, honestly. But yeah, let's just keep pushing up here. Does Leona have ultimate? Yeah, she does. Okay, if, if uh, Caitlyn comes out a little bit, then Leona could just halt her. We could kill her pretty easily. Okay, is Jenna warding or what's going on over here? Okay, she's right there. Grab the pink ward. Okay, nice. Grab oh, get the double Q off on them there. Alright, I'm, I'm almost at my BF sword again. That's really good. Okay, that's another free kill. <laughs> this Caitlyn man. Uh, this is probably one of the best quirky games I've had in a while. Actually, I had a quirky game like a few days ago. No, it wasn't a quirky game. It was a Jinx game that I went like 15 and 1 on or something like that. It was insane. Alright, should be able to pick up another kill here on the... Where'd he go? He disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, he went over there. Damn it. All right, let's grab tower heal, grab tower here, get some sheen procs going. All right, so now I'm going to go back, grab another BF sword. And we're pretty much like, we've won this game right now, honestly, 20 to 4. Like, all we have to do is group up now, but I want to go back. I've got so much gold, like, I want to be able to spend it, so, because there's no point in sitting on this much gold. Like, we could push tower right now, bot lane, but... I'm just gonna grab the BF sword because it just gives me a lot more damage, easier to pick up kills, take towers faster, so we should probably, I'm just gonna tell my team to group mid, like see if they want to because we could probably end the game like really easily and if I can pick up this blue that'd be really nice. <laughs> gonna ask him here if I can have it. Is he letting me? No? Come on, man. What's he going anyways? 5-0. Alright, I'll give it to him. He's 5-0. But if, if he was like 1-3 right now, then I'd expect him to give it to me since I'm 4-0, so... But, you know what? If the enemy... Or if your jungler is like going, doing really well, then don't expect blue from them if they need it. Like, Hecarim, he needs it a little bit, so... And I'm not sure what I'm doing right here. Like, I'm just in their jungle. Um, yeah, we should just group mid, like... I'm just doing some really stupid stuff right now, and I'm probably just going to end up throwing, so. Um, guys, group mid, please. So I'm not really afraid of like being out this far right now, because I do have my W, I do have flash up, so if anything happens, like I could just use that and get away. But it looks like Riven's pushing top, so maybe we'll head over there. I really want this blue buff if it's here. Okay, nice, I'm going to take this. Okay, she let me. I thought she was going to take it for a second. I was like, come on, Riven, please don't. Yeah, we should be able to grab this tower here. Um, damn it, I don't have a ward. Hopefully they don't come around the corner here. Alright. <laughs> Maybe heal was a little bit overkill there, but... I didn't want Riven to die. But that damage, like the burst coming out of Corky, that is just insane. I've said that like probably five times in this video, but like I just can't get over how strong he is. They're, like, he's my go to AD carry right now. Like, I, I'm not sure what my win rate is on him, but I think it's pretty high. And we should be able to finish this game here. Just like focus tower, guys. Like, what is Leona doing? That's how you throw games, Leona. Like, we should just focus towers, like, don't even worry about kills, because we could just end this game right now, right here. I'm not sure what Shaco's doing. Like, this team, their, their enemy team was pretty bad, honestly. Like, I'm not... Like, the I'm not the best AD carry by any means, and I don't usually go, like, 5-0 in lane, but when I'm playing Corky, like, he's just so strong that... 
even though I'm not the best AD carry, I can still win like easily with Corky because he's just such a strong AD carry. Yeah, we should just take this here. Actually, we should not be uh, doing this. Yeah, I gotta get out of there. Yeah, we should not be doing that right now. Okay, and he's godlike, wow. Where'd he go? Did he go this way? Oh, there he is. Come back here. Oh, I got my big bomb. No, no. Die! Okay, I got him. I did not want that guy to live there. That would have been so bad. Alright, maybe I should be grouping with my team. <laughs> Shaco team so garbage. Um, should I push this right here? You know what? I don't know. Should I be pushing this? It's kind of risky. I could kill Velkos though, but... Their team is just really... Like, you can tell they're on tilt right now. Like, Shaco is just raging so hard. But, to be honest, like... I don't doubt them. Like, they're down 26 to 9 right now. I'd be pretty mad if I was down 26 to 9 as well. Let's say group, mid, and end. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back here, grab my infinity edge, because I have a lot of gold. And then we'll just group and end it. Because we we should have ended it, like, a little while ago, but... Yeah, this could have been an under 20 minute game. If we would have just grouped mid, like, right after we took all our tier 1 towers. If we just grouped mid, then we probably could have won it before 20. I've had a couple games where I won it before 20, I think, like... One game I won at like 17 minutes or something like that, which was pretty insane, like... Games that you win before 17 minutes, like, they're really rare. And you either have to have, like, a really good team... You have to have, number one, you have to have, like, all your lanes win pretty much. And number two, you have to have good communication and, like, just communicate with your team, tell them to group, because... If you don't, then your team's just gonna probably end up, like, trying to go for kills and stuff, and... That's pretty kind of what it looks like I'm doing right now, but we should just, like... We should just group bot and take this tower, I guess. Maybe Riven go mid. Okay, I'm just gonna poke him down here with my ultimate. Alright, Leona's going in, wow. Alright, my damage is pretty insane. Holy crap. Okay, Annie, get over here. Let's take this tower. Gotta get some Sheen procs going here. We could probably end. Are there super still mid? I think there are. Yeah, there are. Okay, we could end it. I'm just gonna take this inhibit right here, though. And then once they push out, we'll go try to end it. Who's up? Pantheon and Janna, only one's up. Wow, that damage. It okay, looks like Caitlyn's up now. I think their whole team's up. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Get a heal in for Annie. Aw, oh, damn it. That almost worked, but... We sh... I don't know. Annie should have shouldn't have been up that far. Or she should have noticed that... She should have noticed that they were spawning. Like, I always like to press tab and figure out when they're spawning, but since I'm playing Corky, like, I don't have to worry about that too much, because I have my W, and I can get out really easy. So, let's see. I'm going to grab another BF sword, because why not? Just get so much damage here. And yeah, let's, let's actually end this game. Like, we should just be ending it right now. Let's group. Group. Can I spell group? Alright, there we go. Group mid and end, please. Yeah, Shaco's dead. <laughs> yeah, Shaco's like, he's really weak if he falls behind, like, as you can see. I can kill him really easily. He has to have a really good early game to be useful. A lot of people ask me, like, if I think Shaco is good or not, but I honestly don't think he's very good because if you do fall behind with him, then he's so squishy, he's pretty much useless. He can't really do anything. You, just, you have to have a really good early game with him for him to be useful. Okay, we should just end here. I really want to end this game here. We're taking way too long to end this game. But it is solo queue, so... Oh, 
All right, I'm taking, I'm tanking it. Damn it! Why am I tanking it? Why is Riven trying to dive? I don't understand. All right, Pantheon's dead, I assume. Oh wow, I got really low actually. No! Oh my god, I hit the trap! No! Oh, that trap was perfectly placed. If I would have ran to the left or right, I would have died anyway, so damn it. Dude, we just gotta end this game. Come on, guys. Okay, what should I? I can't buy anything right now, so I'm just gotta wait here till I spawn. And also, I'm thinking, or I'm not thinking, but I'm probably gonna end up getting a good microphone in the next, like, month or so. I'll probably end up getting one for my birthday. Um, so audio quality on my videos will start becoming a lot better because right now I'm not like using I'm just using the mic on my computer which is really bad and you guys like comment some of you guys comment like once in a while saying like you should uh, get a new get a new mic and that's what I'm like with the money I've made from uh, YouTube so far I'm looking at investing that into a mic and just um, into stuff that's gonna help me produce better content so it's a win-win situation like you guys watch my videos, you support me, and I just continue to pump out better content, so... The more you guys support me, the better content I'll be able to produce. And I'm also probably gonna end up getting a laptop soon, because right now I'm just playing on, like... Um... I'm playing on, like, the family desktop, basically, because I don't have my own laptop or I don't have my own computer. So I'm probably gonna end up, end up getting a laptop soon. If you're wondering why I'm not going to get a desktop, it's because I'm going to be going to university probably in the next year, and I need need something to be that I can like carry around and stuff. So a desktop wouldn't be the best for me, and I don't have the money to invest in both. So, all right, let's see here. Grab this tower. Oh damn! Is my team all dead now? I'm not focusing on the game anymore. I'm just trying to focus on the commentary now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure we can end this here. First down this Pantheon, hopefully. Alright, there we go. Can we end? Can we end? Oh, Velkaz end? Okay, they're all up. I don't think we can end. I don't want to go in there and just end the game. Or go in there and try, because I'm probably going to die. Uh, crap. I just want to end the game. We have all three inhibitors. I don't know. Should I go for this, guys? Should I just rush in there and... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> This is risky. I'm just gonna back out and... Yeah, we should group for Baron. Let's do it. We should end this game like eight minutes ago, but okay, what's he doing? Not sure what he's doing there. I completely misplayed that as well, but... Pick up a free kill on Velkaz. I'm pretty sure he's just trolling right now. All right. Uh, I don't know. Should I be? Okay, Shaco. Like, come on, dude. Stop trolling, man. Yeah. Let's. Oh my God, Leona just ulted that. Honestly, though, Leona ultimate's only on like a thirty-second cooldown or something really crazy like that. So, I guess there's no point in not using it. I don't want to save some mana here, though. Damn it! I'm tanking this. Okay, yeah, I I don't know. I don't I don't want to go in there. This low HP, so I should probably just back and then group mid. Pick up the BT here. If you're wondering why I'm not building any attack speed on Corky, I just don't think like attack speed's like the best stat on Corky because he's a bursty champion and you just want to have as much damage as you can to just burst down. It's kind of like Lucian, like you don't build a lot of attack speed on Lucian, you just build like a yo moves. Well actually, you build a decent amount of attack speed on Lucian, but I just don't really like building attack speed on Corky, because I just like going for as much damage as possible so I can burst him down with all my abilities. And it looks like this game's coming to an end guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Road to Gold, so now I'm probably sitting on Silver 1 at around 15 to 20 points, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The reason why we won the game is because, well, to be honest, I had a really good team. Like, our team was really strong and our lanes, I think all of our lanes won. 
and Corky's really strong, so I decided to play him this game because I wanted to make sure that didn't that I didn't get demoted, and I know I'm really confident like when playing Corky, so uh, he's a really strong laner, and if you're looking for a really strong laning AD carry, then play Corky. Like you guys should know that by now, but he's really strong, and that's the reason why we were able to win lane once we like once Leona just went for the all in when we hit like level four or five. There's no way that they could like trade damage with us so we were able to just pick up a few kills there and snowball the game from there so once again guys thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video